Hey, all right, I am here again for another tutorial to help you guys use Pygum bots uh, more effectively and efficiently. And uh, hopefully, you guys are out here making tons of money with this, generating tons of leads and tons of sales. Um, but anyways to make this video really short because it, it is a really short topic there's not really a lot to cover I don't need a 10 minute video uh, let's talk a little bit about CAPTCHA solving CAPTCHA solving in Pygum bots uh, can be done one of two ways it has a manual CAPTCHA solver which can be used to solve the CAPTCHA re, uh, the recaptcha in Google when you are scraping Google. Although it's very difficult, the recaptcha is very very tough and powerful CAPTCHA uh, system. Um, but it can be used uh, for that during the scraping of Google. Although you need to check out some of our other videos that deal with scraping, uh, because there's a lot easier ways to scrape than having to deal with the uh, captchas in Google. Uh, the other way is uh, the auto solving CAPTCHA uh, but this only works when you are submitting to web forms so a lot of web pages a lot of contact forms are going to have a, a CAPTCHA on it I would say you know maybe about 20-25% of the, the websites out there have CAPTCHA um, and there is essentially one built-in API with PygumBot to a CAPTCHA solving service and, and that's death by CAPTCHA so you would need an account there uh, but there is another option besides that one but let me show you real quick if you set up a death by CAPTCHA account the way that you integrate this into PygumBot is very simple first thing you need to do you need to uh, check the option that says auto solve CAPTCHA web form only once you do that then you're going to have this pop-up that comes up. You enter your death by CAPTCHA username. You enter your death by CAPTCHA password. You test connection. When you test the connection, it's going to tell you what balance you have in there uh, with death by CAPTCHA to solve CAPTCHAs. Once that's shown, then you click save. Uh, do note, though, that you cannot connect any proxies uh, on your system when trying to connect. Uh, your death by CAPTCHA account uh, initially before you've test the connection that's because death by CAPTCHA does not allow connection to their website or servers through a proxy so just make sure you keep note of that uh, because if you try to do that you're gonna get an error so the other auto solving option um, which is not actually built into PygonBot and it involves a, another third-party application uh, a lot of people are using uh, GSA CAPTCHA Solver or CAPTCHA Breaker. Um, it's a one-time lifetime license fee. It's $99 for, for a lifetime license for the application. And essentially, it's uh, it simulates all these different CAPTCHA services like Death by CAPTCHA um, and a host of other ones that are out there as well. Uh, it has a really high success rate and um, there's another video online it's not on our YouTube channel uh, but it was made by a user and if you uh, just search out in YouTube or even in Google actually PygumBot and GSA CAPTCHA solver or CAPTCHA breaker you'll find a tutorial there um, that was made by another PygumBot user that showed how he had a 92 percent CAPTCHA solve success rate using GSA with it which is extraordinarily high uh, not to mention that um, it's gonna save you a ton of money too it really is bottom line you know death by captcha is great it is a manual service whereas at GSA you're, you're going off of a database and what's built and I in recognition with death by captcha you are dealing with uh, real people that are filling out these captchas uh, there can be obviously errors human error um, connection errors things like that when you're we're trying to transmit information all over the world um, to execute you know an act that you're trying to do but uh, there's pros and cons to, to using both of them but if you're looking for the you know better bang for the buck for the long term um, I would recommend GSA CAPTCHA Breaker um, it's a it's a really great tool anyways that pretty much sums up everything about the CAPTCHA solving and how it works the manual solving uh, manual CAPTCHA solving can be utilized in the web forms the the contact form pages as you're going through you can set that up so the CAPTCHA will pop up, 
a pop-up and you can manually solve it you can do the same thing when scraping Google um, with their recaption when they throw a captcha or you can choose to use the auto uh, captcha solving option and connect a death by captcha account and or you can use the GSA captcha breaker um, and there is a little bit of setup with that third-party application so you're definitely going to want to find that video that shows you how to do it uh, just because of pro proprietary reasons I can't put that video in this video and I want to keep this video short anyway so um, if you're interested in it it's well worth checking out uh, anyways you guys keep on keeping on and I will talk to you in the next uh, episode